Hello, this is Jack Canstel. I'm back at the Canstel factory here and we're going to talk about marching brass. My dad actually designed marching brass for the marching band back in the 60s for the F.E. Olds company. They were the first ones to do it. We started the Velvet Knights when I was a kid in 1963. And my dad said, you should make bell front instruments for the marching band. He says, okay, go ahead and do it. And he made a baritone and a mellophone, instant success took off like crazy, all the other companies copied. So now we have marching brass. And some of the things that we have in marching brass now are big instruments like this. This is basically a euphonium, but it's designed for marching. And it's interesting because the Texas Longhorn Band that you see behind me here, they've been playing these since 1995. The reason they got some is I was at the Texas Bandmasters Association show in July and I was just kind of fooling around and the assistant band director for the band at that time who I didn't know was a euphonium player he was walking by wasn't planning on stopping and I just simply said look at this I said that's a concert euphonium that's been wrapped for marching I said look at the balance on that and he stopped dead in his tracks he says yeah you're right he says you mind if I play that? And I says oh go ahead well next year 22 Canstle marching euphoniums. And that's the thing about a Canstle, it's always balanced well. Some manufacturers can't seem to get the balance of a mellophone right, but a big horn like this, you've really got to get the balance right if the kid's going to be able to play it and make some sound. And here again, for Canstle, it's always about the sound, it's the reproduction of sound. My dad has designed instruments that will give you a concert sound on the playing field, on the marching field. Because you don't have walls to resonate against. You have to get that resonance on your own out there on the field. So I'd like to just demonstrate this right now. Now I'm not a euphonium player, but I think I can play good enough to demonstrate to you the sound that this instrument can produce. So let me see what I can do with it. <laughs> you could hear from that the sound that this instrument's able to produce. Give it to a euphonium player, I guarantee it'll be even 20 times better. But the instrument will put out a lot of sound on the field, and that's what you want. The right kind of sound, with a real good tonal color to it, and some depth of sound and harmonics. So thank you for listening.